Okay, you guys, in this video today, I want to tell you that I have a love-hate relationship with Pepsi. Yes, I love Pepsi, and today is my last day of drinking Pepsi, so before I stop drinking Pepsi, I want to do this video. Okay, now let me tell you how I got, uh, I got this idea. Now, my grandbabies, they love to try to drink my Pepsi, so I'm like, okay, all right, enough is enough. It's time for me to make a change. So I am going to show you step by step how to create and make pop bottles. All right, we're gonna do one Pepsi and we're gonna do one Sprite. With that being said, let's get it. Okay, you guys, we're gonna go ahead and get started with making our baby bottles, our pop baby bottles. And I wanted to show you where I get my images from and it's Etsy. The pop out of images, I get them off of Etsy, all right? Now, this particular one, Array of Expressions, it says soda mugs. We are not doing soda mugs. We are doing baby bottles. However, this is the perfect template for what we need, all right? Now, as you can see, it says sublimation. We are not doing sublimation. However, the colors are so vibrant and pretty so we are going to use this template all right now i also like that the fact it comes with the image and it comes with the matching fonts all right so with that being said we're going to go ahead and switch back to cricket boom and this is where we're at now i'm simply going to upload my image We're going to find our Pepsi. There it is. Insert that. Boom. And there you have it. Now, I want to add a name. You don't have to, but I'm going to go ahead and add a name. All right. So I'm simply going to go to text and type in my grandbaby's name. Okay, now you can see how the font is not matching with what we need. So I'm simply going to go up to font and change it to Pepsi. There it is. Mm, there it is, right there. Let me bring it down so you can see. Now that is not the color that we want. I want to change it to white. So I'm going to go up and change the color and hit white boom and there it is now I'm I'm going to change the size it's a little bit smaller and then I'm gonna rotate it and put it in the correct position Actually, gonna make it a little smaller. Let's see what we're rocking with. That, that looks good. That's good enough. All right. Now we're going to because if they're not stuck together yet, so what I need to do is I need to highlight the image and the name, and then go to the bottom right hand corner and hit flatten. Now it's stuck together. All right. Now we're good. Now, I'm going to go ahead and change the size to what I need. I am using a 9 ounce wide neck baby bottle. So, your measurements is going to be completely different from mine, depending on what you use. You can use your water bottle. You can use a, a sippy cup or, or a 4 ounce baby bottle, whatever you choose to use. But, I am going to rock with the 9 ounce wide neck baby bottle. So, my measurements are going to be 6.9 for the width. And my height is going to be three. And before I change my height, I forgot I got to tell you, you guys got to unlock it. And then you can change the height. There we go. Perfect. Now we rocking. Now we're not quite done yet with our image because I am using clear water slide paper. Now there's clear water slide paper and there's white water slide paper. I don't 
care for the white so I'm going to stick with the clear however there's extra steps that I have to take because the clear is not going to show up on a dark background and our baby bottle is going to be blue a dark blue so it won't show up this water slide won't show up as is so I have to change it to make it work alright and this is how I do it so you're just going to go to shapes and you hit square and we're going to add a dark background to our image alright so I'm gonna move this out the way so we can work with it better okay and I'm gonna go ahead and change the color to match the blue that's good enough and now I'm gonna unlock it and I'm simply going to change the height to match what we already have which was remember 6.9 for the width and 3 for our height and there, there it is now that should work and I'm going to put our image on top of our background so I'm just going to go up to arrange this thing is so there it goes send to the front there we go I'm on Cricut design space so I'm just gonna line it up like that uh, looks good to me now I'm going to highlight both of them and hit flatten boom there it is wait 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 we still are not done we're almost there but we're not quite done yet with this image now what I need to do is flip my image because the way I put on my water slides it has to be flipped alright now I'm going to go up to flip come on Cricut Design Space there you go and hit flip horizontal and there you have it now we're done with that perfect now I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing with my sprite so I'm going to go ahead and upload sprite there it is and we're going to add a name all right, so I'm going to do the exact same process as I did with the Pepsi with the Sprite. Oop. Okay, now I'm going to rotate it and put it in position. Make it a little bit bigger. Change the color to white. Now, with this one, if you can look at Sprite, it has a blue black background, excuse me. We are going to do the exact same thing. We're going to put a blue background behind our name. So I am simply going to go up to where it says offset. Hit that. It's running a little slow. Just give it a minute. And what it's going to do is put like a, a blue border around the name. There it is. You can barely see it, but there's a blue, blue border around the name. And I'm going to actually make it a little bit smaller. That's too much for me. Right there is pretty good. And then I'm going to hit apply. Boom. There you have it. Now, if you can see, it's black. We don't want black. I want it blue. So we're going to change the color to blue. And that's it. And again we're gonna highlight the name in the background and hit flatten boom there you have it now it's all one piece 
now I'm gonna change the size again my width is gonna be up oh, before I do that I'm gonna make sure it's unlocked I'm gonna change the width to 6.9 and my height to 3 and there it is now again we are not finished because uh, remember I told you that we were going to work with a dark background so we're gonna have to make this clear water slide work so I have to create a dark background so we're going to do shape hit our square I am going to unlock that I'm actually going to duplicate that so now we have two I'm going to unlock both of them I'm going to rock with this one first okay so we need one blue so I'm going to change this color to blue alright and move this one out the way now I am going to change the size to this to 6.9 and 3. Alright, that looks pretty good. Alright. Now I'm going to do the same thing with this one. We're going to change the color. Change the color to this one to uh, a light green. There we go. That's pretty good. And okay, so I'm uh, it's already unlocked. So I want to make it the width 6.9. And the height I'm going to actually do. Do I want to do half 1.5? see how on the image the green is a little bit taller so let's go rock with 1.8 see what it looks like uh, that's good enough for me that's cool we can rock with that that's fine so I'm actually going to put these two colors together right on top of each other like that highlight both of them boom now before I even do that, we can go ahead and move this on top. So we're going to arrange this to the front. And there it is. Line all of that stuff up together. Alright. And that's good enough for me. I'm going to highlight all of that. Hit flatten. Boom. We are almost done. Remember, the last step is now we have to flip it. So I'm going to go up to where it says flip, flip horizontal, boom, there you have it. Now we are completely done with both of our images. Now I'm going to go ahead and print them out. We're going to hit make it, top right hand corner. everything looks good I want to make sure they're flipped and they are and I am going to go ahead and hit continue send the printer I'm gonna leave my bleed on hit print Hard stop. Ok. 
okay you guys and I am going to go ahead and cut out my image on the Cricut Maker Okay, now we are going to finish prepping our images. Okay, so now once we print them out on the Cricut, uh, print them out and then cut them on the Cricut Maker, we are going to spray them with a white spray paint, all right? So I'm just gonna go ahead and use my primer and lightly spray the images. Okay, once you spray your paint, onto the image you're going to let it dry for about 15 minutes all right then we're going to come in with our sealer and spray two good coats on our image that way the paint and the ink will not run once we place it in water the reason why we want two good coats is because we're going to stretch it around our baby bottle and we do not want our image to tear all right <laughs> 